Hi, brothers and sisters. I hope y'all had a blessed Father's Day. Um, I'm here visiting with my brother and his wife, which I haven't seen for about a year now. And um, I just wanted to share a word with you um, at this moment. And um, let's listen to what God's word tells us in 2 Peter chapter 3 starting at verse 10 it says but the day of the lord will come like a thief and on that day the heavens will pass away with a loud noise the elements will burn and be dissolved and the earth and the works on it will be disclosed since all these things are to be destroyed in this way it is clear what sort of people you should be in holy conduct and godliness as you wait and earnestly desire the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be on fire and be dissolved and the elements will melt with fervent heat. But based on his promise, we wait for new heavens and a new earth where righteousness will dwell. Therefore, in other words, for this reason, dear friends, while you wait for these things, make every effort to be found in peace without spot or blemish before him. Also regard the patience of our Lord as an opportunity for salvation. Now friend, these scriptures are very profound in helping us understand what we should be doing in these final days before Jesus Christ returns to this earth to rapture us out of this earth. Friend, we know that when he comes at his second coming, that he's going to come as a thief. And, but it also encourages us that we should live a life in holy conduct and live a life in godliness as we are waiting for him and earnestly desiring him to come. Also, based upon these promises from God's Word, and as we are waiting for the new heavens and the new earth where righteousness dwells, that we are waiting for these things are to be found in peace without spot or blemish before Him. And here is the key. We should regard the delay of his return as the patience of the Lord, as an opportunity for salvation. Friend, if you've already received your salvation like I have received my salvation, we should use the time that we have left as an opportunity to share God's word to bring others into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. My friend, that is what we are to be doing. That is what brings glory to the Father. It's the gift that we bring to our Savior and the angels in heaven rejoice every time someone accepts Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Friend, you have a wonderful day. God bless you, and we will talk soon. God bless you.